Good morning guys, Silas back again. I've got something exciting to show you all today. It is a hot, sticky morning out here today. Very, very humid. It's already getting really warm. So I don't know how hot it's supposed to get today, but it's probably not gonna be a very fun day. But I got something really cool in here to show you. We bought these two semi-trailers out here. There's this one and there's one over there attached to the semi still. But we did not buy the contents. And so the other day, the guy had a chance to go through them, get out the stuff he wanted to keep, and he sold me the contents of these. So I have not really gone through these yet, so we're gonna go through them together. The padlock is off. Oh my. Well, that's cool. Right out the gate. An old fleet can that has the airplane on it, fleet, and the old race car. Motor oil. By miles, not gallons. Whew, it is hot in here already. I'm glad I'm doing this early in the morning and not later in the day. Got a couple old cast iron engines here. An old can, a bunch of just scrap. That right there, that may be the most valuable thing in here. A bunch of new steel and some wood. Crazy prices going on right now with that stuff. Old record player. What is this? Oh, uh, electric fencer. Empty can. Anything good in here? Empty box. Nothing good there. Oh, this is kind of neat. Check out this old TV. Zenith. That's pretty cool. Let's see what this is. Can't quite read that. Inverse Euler. Huh. That might be worth something. We'll have to look that up later. All right, I looked these up on eBay. If I can get the camera to focus. I can't really get it to focus on that, but in good condition, they go for about $100 to $125. That there's a little bit rough. So it's probably a $60 to $75 piece. That's pretty cool. Here's an old Champlin can. It's pretty neat. I'll cut a face in this. Make it into a junk lantern. I'm not sure what all's in here. Boxes of parts. Looks like a machine of some sort. Can't quite read it. It's upside down. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. Looks like it says Leslie or Leslie or something like that on the brand name. Not sure what it is. Looks like some sort of maybe a lathe. I don't really know. Got an old washing machine. I'm not sure what brand this one is. It doesn't have Maytag or Sears or any of the common ones that I know on it. Another old engine. Oh, wow. This is neat. An old dresser. It does have some damage over here, it looks like. Anything good in it? There's something in there. This is oh, an old greaser. Nothing good. Anything? Nope, empty box. More old engines. Looks like a tabletop. It's really rough condition. Here's an old chair. That chair might be something. Not the this chair, but this chair here. That chair is kind of neat how it has the hand grips on it, but it's really rough condition. We'll do some more research. You never know on this old furniture. It may just look like trash, but sometimes this stuff is worth good money just because of the style or the era or whatever. I don't know much about it, so I'll do more research before I just pitch it. These here are just junk. What's down there? Just nothing good. Oh, here's the rest of the chairs. These probably go to that dining table. Yeah, they have decent style. The wood's not all rotted out. I can probably do something with all those. Somebody will probably buy those. You got here another old transmission. Back here. Oh, there's some old carburetors. That's cool. Those will sell online. Some old lights. Those will all sell good. Let's see if there's anything in this. Nope, nothing. Still kind of a neat piece though. Somebody will buy that for sure. It looks like it might have been a record player, I'm thinking, or maybe a, another TV enclosed in there. I don't know. It's 
got some sort of looks like a speaker at the bottom so i really don't know what that was but a lot of times that stuff doesn't go back to what it was originally another carburetor some starters looks like a, a welder and another old tv this one's not that old it's made out of metal so that'll just go in the recycling some old manifolds more old transmissions a bunch of windows here's a bunch of windows what's back here oh bunches of hot rod magazines there's one two three four five boxes full of hot rod magazines i don't know what year they are let's see here 68 ford mustang november of 1967 wow that's pretty cool See what else is in here. There might be some more cool ones in here. August of 1967. Wow, these are pretty neat. Give yourself a break. How to reshoe brakes. Man, these will be really neat to go through later. I'll have to go through those, especially since they're the, from that era. I love 67 Thunderbirds. It's my favorite car. So I'll have to see if there's anything about those in here. I gave $150, I think, for the contents of this trailer. So I'd say I did pretty good in here. There's a few good pieces and then those magazines. So I should do all right on this one. It's a lot of work to sell this stuff. It takes a lot of time. So if you ain't making money at it, then there's no reason to do it. All right, it is locked back up. There's supposed to be a guy here probably today or tomorrow. Maybe next week at the latest, he's going to hook onto this and haul it back to the yard. There she goes. It rolls. Funk. Funk. So let's go on to the next trailer and see what we find in there. It's a cool old GMC. It's a big old trailer. These trailers don't leak, so I'm going to keep them and use them for storage. This one here, I paid, I think, $350 for the contents. Actually, I paid $400, but then there's a piece in here he decided he wanted to keep, so he gave me $50 back. So let's open it up and see what there is. Oh, man, that door is heavy. It doesn't go up very high. Let's see here, we got an old Forney, I think is what that says, Fawny or Forney, welder, air compressor motor, an old cast iron engine, another old air compressor. Let's climb up in here and see what else is in there. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. There's an old red light, flashing light, international truck gauges, those are in really good condition been in storage for a long time it looks like empty boxes I don't know what's back there looks like a, another old TV back behind this board here you can't really see it so down here oh an old right saw these are cool this is the way they work they're not really a chainsaw because they don't have a chain I don't know if you'd call them a reciprocating saw or what you would call them but they were made by a company called right they're really neat I've got a few of them already and then an old, looks like a David Bradley chainsaw. That's pretty neat. This old wooden workbench table. Somebody will buy that as well. What's this? Flare kit. Another old fence charger. For those that don't know what these are, you hook these up, you plug them in, and you hook up strands of wire to them and you run them around your property and that's to keep the cows in if they go up against the wire while this is on it'll zap them if you go up against the wire while this is on it'll zap you that is actually in really good condition that'll sell Buick Wildcat power that's pretty neat that's in good condition too whole bunch of flare kits on top of that old television what's this an 
old grill. I wonder what that's off of. Let's see if we can get it out of there. All right, I looked it up, and this is off of a 72, 72 Skylark, is what this is off of. And there's a bunch on there, and they're anywhere from $300 to $500. Usually that's asking price. Stuff doesn't usually sell for that price. Sometimes it does. Uh, there was no sold listings to compare it to. But if I had to guess, I would say probably somewhere in the neighborhood for this one. It does have some condition issues. A little bit of pitting. I would say probably more like $200 for this one. What else is in here? Big ol' wind power electric motor. There's an old cast iron engine. see what else is in here oh there's a diesel injection pump off of it looks like a Cummins sometimes those are very valuable just for cores you have to look them up I'll have to get that out later and look it up see what it is another old can to cut a face in bunches of random stuff looks like some hydraulic pumps I'm not sure what that is we'll go through all that look it up see if it's worth anything empty boxes Junk, junk, and more junk. That table, somebody might need that steel table there. That's solid, solid steel. It's got some pretty heavy legs on it. Old kerosene heater. Looks to be in pretty good condition. We'll sell that. This style of fan here, you let it sit exactly like it is right here. And so it blows the air up. I forget what they're called exactly. I've had a few of those made by a Vornado. And you could actually sit on top of them. Another old kerosene heater. Old newspaper, the Hutchinson News. February 16, 1990. Wow. That's almost my birthday. I'll have to go through here, see if there is one for my birthday. That would be cool to find a Hutchinson News, the city I was born in, from my birthday. Another old saw. I'm not sure what that is. Air dryer, hmm. parts washer, rotor tiller. Oh, is this what I think it is? This is what I think it is. Awesome. I have one of these already and I show it to people and nobody has ever seen one like it. Mine still has the cover on the side. This is too cool. Let's see if I can get it out of here. This is a big old blade. Very, very cool piece. If I can get this up where you guys can see it better. This one doesn't have the identification plate on it, but the brand is Mall. It's a Mall saw. And the way these work, if I can skip over to this side, as you can see there, instead of being a direct drive, the engine is sideways and it runs off of a clutch. There's a clutch down here inside this. And you can turn this blade either direction. So instead of having to hold the saw sideways, you would just loosen that bracket right there up and then you could rotate this whole saw 90 degrees and then you can cut sideways. And not only that, but if you wanted to have this blade at a 45 degree angle for whatever, you can adjust it to a 45 degree angle. Whatever angle you want it at, you can adjust this blade. These are very cool. I don't remember how much they're worth. They're worth quite a bit of money. This in here looks a little rough. The one I have already is in a lot better condition. And this is a piece though that I won't sell just because it's so neat. I may consider selling this one just because I already have a nice one, but I'll have to look and see and decide on that later. Bunch of old craftsman saws. Those will sell. They don't bring a lot of money, but they do sell. Let's see what else is in here. An old trolling motor off an old boat. I'll have to look at that. I'm sure that'll sell. There's an old something. 1981 prototype cars. These are kind of neat. The last DeSoto. That's neat. Huh. All sorts of cool stuff in there. There's several old magazines down here. Cars of the 40s from 1981. So yeah, we'll go through all those. Looks like maybe some more hot rod magazines. So yeah, there's probably some more good stuff down in here. We'll have to just go through all this trash. Haul it off to the landfill. More old magazines. Wheels for you. I used to read this all the time when I was a kid. 2006, yep, that would have been back when it was really popular. I never bought nothing out of it, but I sure read it every day. 
All right, it is incredibly hot inside this trailer. I'm about to have a heat stroke, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. This is probably the coolest piece. I save these till last. Probably the most valuable pieces in here. But these two old visors. There's this in here is smooth. I've had one like that before off an old international truck, which there's a ton of internationals out here, so I'm sure that's what it came from. This one here, I'm not entirely sure what it came off of, but it's a very neat, neat piece. I'm sure it came off an old truck. Everything out here did, for the most part. And they're missing odds and ends chrome pieces, but they could be in here somewhere. Even if they're not, they're still a very valuable piece. So those are very cool. All sorts of cool stuff in these trailers. So it'll be a lot of fun to go through here, and who knows what else is in here that I can't see until I actually get to digging in it. I'm gonna head back to the truck and get some water, because <laughs> I am exhausted. I didn't even do any work, but it's just so hot inside those trailers. It reminds me of back in the day when we would load export containers going to China full of uh, copper and electric motors and stuff like that. And man, we'd be out there 110 degrees outside inside those trailers would be way hotter than that yet. Just, I was just a teenager, but man, it was, it was hot. But that's all for this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. I try to do stuff like this every now and then where I go someplace and I just buy a building or a trailer or whatever full of stuff. I usually don't spend a whole lot of money. I'm not one of those high rollers that goes out and spends, you know, forty thousand dollars on a unit and finds five hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff. I mean, that, that's cool and all that, but I don't usually do that. My stuff I do is a little bit more realistic. But if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, drop a comment what your favorite item was, and above all else, get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.